Today I'm going to be giving you guys the ultimate settings for Farley 84 to maximize your gameplay experience, so let's get into it. Now while this video is being recorded on a tablet, all these settings will apply to both phone and tablet players. And I've been meaning to do this, but if you guys are watching this video and you guys want to get some free goodies inside of the game, if you click the little three lines right beside the gear icon in the top left and you click this CD key button, I'm going to go ahead and throw a bunch of codes on screen right now. I think each one can be redeemed up to like 200 times. And huge shout out to Forlight for giving me these codes. And uh, all I'm asking is if you do redeem one, subscribing would be greatly appreciated. All right, but on to the settings. They are pretty simple in this game. We're going to be going from top to bottom. And so you can skip around the video depending on which setting you want to take a look at. So starting off in general, you want to have the marker setting turned on. This will allow you to double ping your location to either say this is an enemy or if we just need to move to the specific location. For gyroscope, if you're a foam player, you could experiment with this, but I would just recommend having it off. If you're getting started out with mobile games and you've never tested gyroscope, this is kind of preference, but I like having auto overcome obstacles while sprinting turn on it basically means if you run into a wall and you're sprinting you'll just hop over it damage numbers i think it is really important to have a combined damage number this means when you're shooting at someone you will have both the total damage you've done and also the individual damage per bullet pop up on your screen and squat and phone notifications just keep them turned on it's always good to have more information about where your teammates are now for the graphic setting once again this is super device specific but what you want to do is you want to aim for a consistent 60 fps frame rate now i uh, am playing on an ipad pro 2021 so uh, luckily i can use the very high frame rate which is the 60 fps frame rate if you guys didn't know uh, and the extreme graphics at the same time and get a constant 60 fps but if i were you guys i would keep the frame rate very high or at least at the high depending on your device and then play around with the graphics if you need to play on ultra or hdr to get 60 fps do it but basically you want to use the highest graphic quality possible that will allow you to get the best resolution and also having 60 fps at the same time now for visual style this is personal preference but i think bright or fresh just makes the game look a little bit more vibrant a little bit more fun and for anti-aliasing you want to have this turned off do not have this turned on it'll make your game lag it'll make it your device overheat a little bit faster and it really doesn't make the game look a whole lot better and for alternatives display screen just keep this at zero it just changes the way your menu looks and so for most devices zero just should be fine for weapons you're going to want to have aim assist turned on auto fire turned off unless you're a very new player if this is the first ever shooter you're playing on mobile sure you can have auto fire turned on and learn the ropes but as soon as you get comfortable make sure you turn auto fire off for aim mode i've always played mobile games with the tap aim i feel like it frees up a finger and it allows you to have a little bit more movement and uh, agileness with your fingers because you're not having uh, one held down on the screen when you're aiming in the whole time for quick ads you can mess around with these settings i'm not a huge fan of these quick ads settings though so i just keep them turned off because if you can get good with the tap aim mode it'll benefit you a whole lot later on down the road now if you're someone playing with let's say two three or maybe even four fingers then i might recommend using the bolt action sniper rifle where release the fire mode and that basically allows you so that whenever you're aiming down with a sniper as soon as you release your finger from the ads button then it will actually shoot and i've just found in some games this can be a pretty good setting but for shotguns i wouldn't recommend this at all and for the last two weapon settings just have them turned off because you definitely don't want your vehicle weapons auto firing for controls i'm gonna be having a separate video drop on this very very soon but for anyone curious this is my ipad heads-up display i believe it's a six or seven finger heads-up display which obviously like probably like one percent of the people watch this video it even applies to so once again a full heads-up display guide for two three and four finger foam players will be coming soon so make sure you guys are subscribed to see that for vehicle controls make sure you use the default stick control and you don't want to have these turned on as it can mess up your movement for sensitivity this one is very particular to the user if you guys like a fast sensitivity then i would maybe recommend in, in the 150 range but me personally i like a slower sensitivity and i've still been trying to figure out what i want to use as my sensitivity i will say the settings are pretty old school there aren't things like fixed speed acceleration and you can't sync your regular camera with your firing but i will say whatever you guys do whatever sensitivities you guys end up settling on you want to make sure that whatever the sensitivity is in the camera mode it is the exact same in the firing mode so as you can see we have our standard view at 85 percent so it's actually something like a standard view in the firing 85 percent 
percent red dot it's 60 percent let's make it 60 4x scope is 24 or 26 you guys get the gist you want to make sure whatever your camera sensitivities are that they are the same in the firing mode because that way it won't make your aim all wonky and messed up so whenever you change something in one make sure to change it in the other and these other three i really don't think matter too much gyroscope obviously if you're playing with gyroscope messing out with these i don't have any recommendations because i don't use gyroscope personally vibration please have it turned off. This is going to mess up your aim in the long run because if you're shooting and you're having all these vibrations on your phone, it can be harder to concentrate and you can miss some shots. So please have the vibration turned off no matter what your device is. I am lazy, so I like having auto loot turned on. I think early game when you're running around and it's auto picking up stuff like shield XP and weapons, this is really important. But if you are someone who likes manually looting, sure, go ahead and turn this off. For the collapse loot window to disable auto loot, also have this turned on basically that means if you have the loot window open it will automatically loot for you if you close the loot window then it won't automatically loot for you so pretty straightforward sound i don't know why there are different sound settings obviously put it on perfect for the master volume you can just put this at 100 percent for the sound effects you also want this to be at 100 percent because sound effects are things like gunshots footsteps you know audio cues in the game that are really really important for background music i just don't like to listen to it so i turn it off and for character voices these can be sometimes helpful if your teammates or uh, their character voices have certain uh cues when they're in battle or something like that so they can kind of be used uh in, in intense moments to actually give some good comms from the in-game characters so i would keep this around 50 percent but if you don't like the sound of the voices you could turn them off because i know there are, are a lot of character audio cues in the game and that's it obviously use the language you want to use but if you all enjoyed these settings it's a pretty straightforward game to have have really good and optimized gameplay on if you guys do want that heads up display video then make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss that video when it does drop because i know a lot of people out there are definitely wondering what the best huds are but anyways thank you so much for watching today's video smack a like if you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces